Hello everyone, I am Fatosh. We are doing box pop today for European Roma Rights Center. Hello, could you share with us what is your opinion against online hate speech? I think in 21st century people should stop uh, like discriminate based on skin color. I would like to say that in the current very challenging times we are sometimes um, forgetting that we are all humans and we are all equal and, uh, and uh, even though we live in different countries, in different settings, in different uh, realities, we are all uh, we are all human, and we should uh, remember that uh, even language can be very hurtful. We should really try to learn and learn, uh, like the small kids from uh, in the kindergarten, like uh, the the right manners. You know, to treat uh, each uh, with love, with kind, and and support, and. Uh, try to make them like better people. My message is clear and simple. I've spent years monitoring, campaigning against hate speech. The actions taken by the volunteers in this initiative inspire me, fill me with hope and show the way forward. We need to be challenging it wherever it manifests itself. The volunteers in this project have shown that it, to people that it's not enough to be non-racist. You've got to be actively anti-racist to make a difference. My message is to become a great example and show it to people and make it so hate speech becomes just this weird thing in society and not something that people can get away with. I'm happy that my group and other volunteers from Europe are helping to help social media to become more safe. I would like to appeal for everyone to be careful about what we are saying in the public discourse and I would like to also appeal to everyone to uh, just uh, remember the empathy and, uh, and humanity and to remember love. Just stay positive and think good for us. My main idea is that uh, hate uh, leads to suffering, it leads to destruction and I think that this life is too short that we spend it on hatred in any form, whether it is online or offline. Online hate speech is so prevalent. It is not just the blatant incitement to racial hatred, the calls for the liquidation of Roma, the degrading speech that insults Roma. It's the more subtle, coded racism that is harder to detect and fight against. Um, we need to be alert because the more commonplace hate speech in political discourse and online commentary becomes, the more acceptable it seems to disrespect and disregard the rights of Roma. We need to be vigilant and we need to engage as many people as possible to understand that there's no place for this kind of racism. There needs to be zero tolerance for hate speech, online and offline.